game is first? Is it Boston? Indiana? Yo, and you know what? We might actually see this in the playoffs. If Boston and Indiana both win their current series they're in, they will play each other uh, in the conference finals. Which is crazy, right? Uh, we will not see this. <laughs> uh, what? Is it? Is it this? I think this is it. Okay. We got the all-time Celtics versus the all-time Pacers. This Pacers squad has been surprisingly good, um, but in a way, so has the Celtics squad. So let's not waste your time. Let's just get right into it. I wonder if I can. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. There we go. Yeah, we're going to have this weird camera angle until we do this and go here to camera settings that we already have. And then it comes I don't know why. I don't know. I tried to figure it out, and then I stopped. I gave up. I gave up. But both these teams, man, have been... Actually, to be honest, and I think I got into it a little bit last... Uh, last... Pacers game that we watched. And, you know, it's really not that surprising the Pacers all that well. Think about it. Mel Daniels, second in the league, rebounding. Paul George, first in the league, steals. Um, Louis Bosch, I, I believe, uh, was one of like seven, eight people uh, to go, you know, 10, digit, or 10 assists a game. Um, not to mention that Sabonis uh, and Reggie Miller are both, I mean, like I said, close to 20 points a game. So they got a lot of good scores. They got you know, Paul George doing it both ways. Mel Daniels secure rebounds. I mean, you know, they got a good squad. Uh, came in at the 16. I think they were. They lack consistency uh, in the season, which is why they were the six seed, and why it didn't seem surprising that they were the six seed. Uh, but so far in the playoffs, man, they've been their offense has been crazy. Transition offense, they play at a fast pace, they move the ball very well, just like the Pacers in real life do this year, actually. Um, so I mean. You know, they, 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 they're here for a reason, right? Uh, and it's tied up one to one. So uh, essentially, they're the back to having home court advantage. The Celtics, though, they came into this season, you know, almost a shell of what they were the previous season. I mean, they started out rough, the record wasn't that great. They made some positional switches, some starting lineup changes, and you just thought, as a team, as a unit, overall, they're not as good as they were in the previous season. But I think it just took time for them to measure. I think it took time for them to adapt to the new roles they had to, to take on. And I think, to be honest, from a, a scoring and efficiency point of view, they're probably better this year than they were last year. So. I will say their bench is certainly better with Bill Russell, um, you know, than Dave Cowens. It's like Bill, Bill Russell's bench is almost having more of an impact than you did in the starting lineup. It's just not, a, you know, the starting lineup, he was kind of sharing the spotlight. Now he's on the bench, he can kind of take over a little bit. But Dave Cowens, no slouch, man. Great steal there. Good pu uh, push in the pace. And, Max Lewis doing what he was brought into this Celtics organization to do, and that is shoot the three ball. But if he missed, the coach might have had some words for him. Now, here's Bosch. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing to vote yet. Shots were on Lewis. The Celtics squad taking out the Buck squad as well, which I, I was fully convinced had a shot to win it all. I mean, their, their record didn't tell the full story of that team. It may seem deadly. But, you know, hey, Celtics beating them kind of proves they're not a shell team they were last year. We see here already, and we got close ones in back and forth, too. One thing I will say about the Celtics team, 
as true this year as it was last year is that they are dependent on Larry Bird's ability to, not his ability, his efficiency for me on here. Larry Bird go four for 12, they're not having a good game. Okay? <laughs> They, they, they probably not going to win, but if Larry Bird goes 10 right of 12 side. from beyond the arc, you know, Six on the shot clock. They're, going, they're, they're tough. <laughs> they're a tough, tough team to beat. When Larry Bird is going from deep. The Celtics squad is hard to stop. Now, oh, that's on me. It didn't look like he was set. It didn't look like you were set. Now we can see. So it's Boston now. They trail by one. There's the pop. Oh, Pussy. Shot clock at six. Getting the ball around. Oh, Ooh, Larry Bird. Hit again from deep. The defense. And he's shooting at people's slow. faces now. Oh, we'll see the result. Oh, that's Paul George. That's a bad hit. Mm. You see, you see Paul George come in off of the screen, off the ball screen, and he's wide open from beyond the arc. It's a buck. It's a buck. I don't care what happens. It's a buck. Here's Kuzi trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's a bonus who brings up the ball. I don't care if the defender gets there late. It's a buck. Mm. I mean, look at how the, the Pacers are just zipping the ball. In transition, even off the score baskets, I mean, they, they're... Here's Kuzi. The one thing about the Pacers is that Lewis Bosch is... is uh, he's a defensive liability. Which is why, I mean, had the Bucks made it past the Celtics, I think Giannis would have just scorched uh, Lewis Bosch all night, but... James up a three. Bosch can't get it to go. And close to making the defense pay for the last oh, couple of minutes. Ooh, gonna foul him. Saying, hey, we're not gonna give it to you easy, but you know, my thing is, we're gonna foul somebody. You gotta make sure they miss that dang shot. Oh, open. Late. Close out defense. By Bob Juicy. Here's Bird. Oh, and the defensive liability getting exposed. So just, if you can get Larry Bird on Lewis Bosch, that's what you want. But look at him. Look at him. I, I didn't lie. Three of five from Yanni Art. He's already got 11 of their, their 21 points. Chalk it up to be 12. 22. You know, this is... And then, now here's Bosch. Six points for him. They need Larry Bird to come out and score. <laughs> yeah, 30 some points a game. Indiana shooting their first free throws of the night right here. In this league, we, we consider, you know, 20 point performance. Shooting two. You know, the most elite players average 20 plus points a game. So, I mean, you know, 20, 25 points is elite. For them to, to win consistently. They need this man operating at you know, 30 plus points. So they, they they need him to score the score buckets for him. Or at least be super efficient early. If he's super efficient early, then he he can start to pass out you know, when he gets double and all that stuff. They need him perfectly get buckets. Doing work at the line. Kuzi passes to Tatum to the paint. Paul George with the steal. Daniels. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like Throwing this, it down. Is, it's all about the attention to detail. Kicks to Lewis, lets it go from deep, tipped away. Ooh. Indiana leading. Thanks to Lewis. <clears throat> and here's he, Miller outside. Nice rip. Oh, hey, but look at him. Second in the league in rebounds. Work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamental. And you know what I love about him? Is that he's consistently leading the league in rebounds since Victor Wembanyama has come in. He's, he's consistently been second in the league in rebounds. To really create opportunities but for his teammates, just a you know he, he's. I mean, he knows his role. You know what I'm saying? He knows what his job is. 
He does it very well. I think this whole Pacers squad is really just a bunch of role players. They all know the role. They all accept it. And they do it well. And they're all they're selfless, man. I mean, everybody's coming in for help. Everybody is. Nobody blames somebody else. They get tough. Things go sideways. Now here's Bosch. He kicks it to Daniels. Oh, Daniels? Say maybe a maybe an open corner shot. But Bird passes to Kuzi. But not from there. Especially now with a closeout defender. Oh, oh, leading the league in steals though, Paul George. <laughs> Says cookies and takes it all the way. It's foul. Look at him, 19.6. They got a lot of guys with high teams. But don't worry, he is fully capable of going. Get me 25 points. Now we're seeing basically the full platoon. So Jojo White, John Havlicek, Paul Pierce, Kevin McHale, and Bill Russell. Oh, oh nice little fake there by Bill Russell. Had Jermaine O'Neal jumping. He's out there with Chuck Person, Casey Wallace, Victor Oladipo, Paul George, of course, Sony Four. Couldn't get that to go. Very unfortunate. Right. Or, or maybe very fortunate. But it's okay. It's With that first foul, he's going to he's gonna come in. They're going to get Danny Granger in there. Now, this is where the Celtic squad can really take over. Because right? he got, I mean, JoJo White, Paul Pierce. And John Havlicek is still a bucket also. Bill Russell. If he's dominant, he makes everybody around him better. So he just el elevates. Oh, bench squad. But on top of all of that, I mean, you got the Spacer squad. He pretty much gets limited to just being Jermaine O'Neal from the post. And I mean, look at Bill Russell. And this is the stuff, you know, they're not calling plays for him when he's in the starting lineup. There's so many of stars. He's off the bench, that means he gets to really show up. And also, he's getting up there in age. He, you know, he's getting a little tired, man. Give him some bench minutes, you know. And he can play a maximum efficiency. Well, look, at, look at Paul Pierce with the moves. JoJo White, though, also coming down. If he would have stayed out. Would have been open for three, but look at look at going to work. Look at JoJo White, man. That's that's the original guy we are starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots. That's the original Kyrie right there. Oh, Jermaine! I didn't see him slashing. Oh my! The space squad. I mean, they're pretty much become fully reliant on. On the benches out there, which is why you know as the, as the series goes along, right, as they advance further in the playoffs, the starting five gets to be out there for long minutes. Can keep this up. There will be some letdown. They, they get to these teams. They are built to score. It's a ball out. Now here's Granger. Oh, oh, I like the little shimmy and the little shake. This is what his team expects and needs from him. Here's White. Russell trying to free himself up. White, good. And now on a five point Celtic lead. Now the Pacers with it. All right, this will probably be the last position. Oh, they're not treating it the last possession, though. Wallace outside. And maybe kind of pushed a little too hard there. Now the Celtics get a, basically a free shot right before the quarter. And they're going to extend their lead to seven. And what you love about Russell is he plays to his... And it's going to stay there. A uh, seven-point lead by the Celtics. The series is tied up 1-1. They do need to get an upset on the road to get home court advantage back. The last stream, I was one for six. So I'm going to try real hard here. I'm going to say... 
Actually, you know what? Larry Bird was really efficient to open up. So I'm going to say the Celtics cap it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, one for one, baby. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a look at the comparison. I mean, this is a, clearly a blow, right? I mean, a little close at half, but then they just really start to pull away. And yeah, they, they really lay it all on, on the four. And, um, the difference in free throw attempts, uh, much, you know, now it's it leans toward the Celtics, right? Which is the complete opposite of what we saw uh, in that first game. And then, of course, the, the three pointers. I mean, I, I guess they just kind of got lucky that I mean, 27% from the Pacers. That's. And they're a team that shoots a lot of threes. I mean, 60 of them, right? And to go 27%, that hurts you, man. That hurts you bad. I mean, for the thing about this, right? The Celtics to shoot 16 less threes and to still make two more of them is crazy, <laughs> right? And I think once that stops working, then they don't have an inside game. And then the Celtics just really started to lay it on. So I, I, that's got to be what happened. Let's take a look at the box score here. Reggie went off, man. You know, 24 points. Had three steals. Went five of, what, 11 from beyond the arc yet. Uh, but Amon Sabonis, three of 16. Why is he taking so many threes, man? Louis Bosch, three of 10. Why is he taking so many threes, man? Uh, Paul George had five steals. Went three of eight. I mean, yeah, they just weren't taking good quality shots, man. I was bragging about them zipping the ball around and everything. They, they, they didn't do no zipping, man. There was, there was no zip uh, in what we saw. Man. Meanwhile, I mean, Larry had a triple-double. <laughs> oh, dude, he dropped. But I tell you, man, when he drops 30-plus points and he's efficient, they're dangerous. I mean, over 50% from beyond the arc. Uh, still had 11 rebounds, 12 assists. Two steals while we're at it. JoJo White only misses two shots on the night. You know, Jason Tatum had a, a pretty solid performance as well. Max Lewis going in even 50%. Bob Cousy with a double-double. Dave Cowens with a double-double even. And then look at all the people that had multiple steals, right? Um, you know, all the people that went perfect from the floor or maybe only missed one shot. Like, you know, it's a huge... Huge difference uh, between this game and the previous game that we saw. Um, Celtics going to come over that. And now that they've officially gotten home court advantage back, I'm going to say they probably end up winning the series as well. All right. We're going to watch one game from here, and then we're going to sim it to get to Uh, Spurs versus the Rockets. The Spurs currently are up 2-0 here. Um, Spurs have had the best defense in the league for multiple seasons. They seem to have got the Ziploc bag for the Rockets. Welcome I think they keep the them bagged up. You know what I'm saying? Ziploc sealed. Joined by Hall of Famer Graham Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, airtight reporter Ali LaForce. No breathing room in a snuggie. We've got the San Antonio Spurs facing the Houston Rockets. And Westbrook comes out with that nasty three off the screen. I don't know how you guard him. Pass to Robinson. There we go. Leaning on Timmy D. Oh, out of bounds. Out of bounds. Moses Malone. Good effort. What well, we saw in the last game is just the ball. squad. It's a three point game. Plan of attack. Trying to come in with an aggressive that was. That early five mm -hmm. to take you right out of it. Get Elijah one on David Robinson and, and just attack David Robinson with a keen Elijah one. And it was working in that whole first quarter. And they found themselves up big after one quarter. 
Spurs um, so a couple of uh, you know, 10, 14, or whatever it was, you know, a couple quarters where they were in the teens and scoring. Again. It's a three pointer. As we know, there's no magic way they came back to defend now. Kawhi Leonard. You just Spurs, no secret. Tony Parker can't get going offensively. They can't get going offensively. But, why? I mean, if he's shooting from beyond the arc like that, Tim Duncan can get down low and score. He's still got a chance. I will say this very uncharacteristic of the Spurs. Giving up that wide open look. Russell Westbrook. Off that open screen like that. Off that off ball screen. That's, that's rare. Now, Back to James Harden. So apparently the Rockets are they're setting up these little screens, kind of. They're not even really screens. They're just standing kind of right along like that outside. You got these guys running to the outside and cutting it. Cutting it in. Coming up to the top. Spurs haven't communicated with that yet. So I wonder if we're going to see time now. Let's see if that's open. Just goes about his business. Look, and setting it up again right here. Westbrook outside. This time, Tony Parker able to fight through the screen a little bit. Harden didn't realize it as much, but now, I mean, Westbrook just wins up. Now it's still a three point play. Some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Rockets. They came on fire from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence. When you can start a game that yeah, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist Ooh. numbers are off the chart. Kawhi, though, to start, showing some rhythm. keeping them in this, man. Now here's Harden. He's closely guarded. Again, off that, off that same play. Look at this. Look at this already. This is having him in foul trouble. Now we got. Here's Dawkins. Five to shoot to the wing, right side. Oh, look at that. Tony Parker caught all watching. Westbrook's got 12 points. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Oh, I thought that pass was going to Tony Parker, cutting Tim Duncan. Oh, 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 oh. now the Rockets playing defense, Stingy. Okay, Ooh, and that's a bucket. Jeez, man. Blake Mullen has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. What's he going with, though? What's he want with it though? Ooh. 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 Scoop. Oh. If he'd have made that, I'd have been like, okay, they still in this. But, hmm. but yeah, down 13. Down 13. Spurs going to call that timeout. Hey, man, they're killing us on that off ball screen, man. Right, right, man. When you see that, man, we got to switch. We got to fight. We got to go around. We got to do something, man. Got to be prepared to play the pass. Something, anything. Here's to see what happens. Now quiet so far offensively. Next defense possession. Oh! Terrific move by Tony. Not always the Look at that. He got, ooh, and then he got, ooh, and then, ooh, and Westbrook that played that perfect. Westbrook played that perfect. Taking the onus on himself to make Parker something means. happen. Got it into the teeth of the he, he defense rain. and made them pay. Mm. Oh, uh, what I tell you, he, that was the same look that they were getting. Leonard this time, Tony Parker's in front of it with a steal. Tony, the Spurs defense. Parker against Westbrook. Parker passes. He might get something going for a little bit. Okay, that's cute. Lays it up and banks it in. Some guys you ain't, you ain't getting nothing after that. Generate points. He's one of them. Houston in the lead. Pass to Olajuwon. Harden with it. Parker picks him up. The three. Westbrook. He missed there. Oh. He gonna start this back. His first misfire in five tries. 
Marker outside. Down low. Here's Duncan. And it Ooh, goes. Timmy D. Jam it up. Outside yeah, got it all dumped up again. The Rockets running that play. And they're not saying play. Found something that worked. And the Spurs are finding a very difficult time here. Trying to defend that little that little off ball screen right there. Six to shoot. And what I love about it is they run it to either side, Westbrook or Hart. Oh! Three from transition. He's got 15 already. All three. Well, no, no, no. One of them was that. You can pile up points in a hurry. Now here's Robinson. Will it go? No. It won't. It won't go. Keep in mind, we do have a 21 rule if they get up 21 with or without ball. Now here's Harden. We're gonna right start on. the sim early. I don't think it's gonna get to that point. San Antonio with the ball. But they they trail by 16. Ooh. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grab that was smooth. Wasn't the a very emphatic slam on the end of the alley oop, but, but it was smooth. It was, here's Olajuwon. It was Robinson kind of cool. defending. Oh, look at this. Now they're going back to this, huh? Here's Olajuwon. Shoots over Robinson. The rebound by Duncan. And that's okay. Now David Robinson all best. over. You had some guy guy taking the shot. Try to attack me. I'm gonna watch all you tape. Leonard, right side. <laughs> I'm gonna get all your tricks down. Your fancy footwork ain't gonna ain't gonna get me Parker no more. Outside. Pass to Gervin. From deep three point range. No. Said that's deep. It's good. Duncan. He's hot this quarter. Duncan out shot. here. Duncan. He and he's delivering. Inside. Here's Westbrook. Oh! And it's <laughs> he, had, he hit that with the reverse on the other it's side Duncan. of the basket. Six Tony Parker got around to it, bro. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. This is a, it's easy for Timmy D. And easy work. Four for six so far. <laughs> They're not messing around. We applaud you, though, Westbrook. We applaud you. Have come from the interior. Oh! Here's Westbrook. Oh! Such a nice move to make that bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Westbrook's got 17. Yeah. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Mm -hmm. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. The Spurs making a switch here. So they are down. 12 right Westbrook's now. Westbrook's gone 6 of 8 13, from the field. 12. Westbrook against Parker. Oh, he gets Ooh. it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Yes, yeah, so and now the point shade down to single digits. A masterful job of running the pick and roll. And, of course, Parker makes the right decision. Oh, now we got Yao Westbrook out there. Outside. And Elvin Hayes. And he lobs it up. Hmm. Oh, Spurs Johnson. back, Helton Johnson. Yeah, it's like Purdy out there. In the center position. Here's that was almost a backcourt violation. We got Back six seconds Parker. left on the shot clock. Locking Tony Parker got the ball in his hands. Can Spurs he make something happen? No. And Cannot. Oh, he's Hayes. all over it. Hard in transition. Harden. He's going to pull up. And, he and it's going to. A solid five for six now. Only one missed in his first six shots. He's definitely brought his A game. It's five for six. That's wild. Oh. Freaking Westbrook's a takeover. Over to the left wing. You know, if he gets the ball, he's drawing up for sure. And he comes up with a bucket. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Oh, we're going to do a little ISO for Jane? Oh, no. No, they're going to do that same play for Westbrook. He's going to get the ball and then let it rip. The shot is good by Westbrook. 
I love how he knew he wasn't getting the ball in time, so he could step back in a little bit. And then when he got there and Sonny Parker was there, then he just kind of did a little shimmy out. <laughs> the Rockets pull it in. Mm, I'm not sure what and he scorched on Tony on, on charging the basket. A little bit once he got to uh, the rim. Previous play, so that shimmy out actually generates a whole lot of space. Against Tony Westbrook. Parker has to respect him there now. He's hard on the cut. Things are really going hard his way. He's on a wall. His shooting is over 26 points a game. In these playoffs, he has been phenomenal for him. Inside. Oh, Elvin Hayes playing the lanes. Oh, but Yao Ming trying to do too much. Here's Gerben. Trying to pass that ball. Oh, as it goes out of bounds, San Antonio will keep possession. And now it's time to take another view of that huge mm. swat. You know that block has the same block. That is what playoff basketball is all about. A minute four left to play in the first. Mm. Ginobili, no good. And it's Houston's ball. The lead is 15. Pass to Westbrook. Mm. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, like, watch out, watch out, step back. Nobody gonna be there anyway. San Antonio goes the other way with it. They got a two for one opportunity here if they hurry. Maybe they rushed it a little bit too much. And now, oh, Tracy, McGrady. Oh, he couldn't get the mini to go. Oh, he could have just blown right by him. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Now here. Spurs, I think this, and this is going to be their last possession of this quarter. A 40. A nice, easy play. Probably the last uh, shot of the quarter here. They the Rockets. They're going to give Westbrook the ice. Oh, oh if he'd have made that, that would have been nasty. They find themselves up 13. First game at home. They're down two games in this series. They need this one bad. I'm going to say the Rockets. Pull it out. I'm going to say they, they have to get the dub at this point, right? Yeah. And they do. And they do. It the Margin came down a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I mean, they were up. Ooh, then they got up some more. Up 19 points at half. Oh. And then it goes up another five. 24 points so it was just a blowout and then they probably just subbed in a, like a lot of non-starters or something that had to be it that had to be it for sure so this is a blowout of a game and look at i mean look at the threes dude Jeez, not only the difference in how many they over double the attempts right but then <laughs> seven times as many made three pointers that's a huge disparity Right, for this to only end up being a seven point game, that's something that the Spurs got to look at and say, All right, that's it. Like, that's the one. <laughs> that's the stat we got to fix. Kawhi ended up dropping 28, had three steals. Tim Duncan had 28, 10 rebounds, and multiple steals. David Robinson had 23 with two blocks. <sighs> Sorry, two blocks. Tony Parker didn't do so hot, but he still had 17 assists. He had four steals and two blocks. Clifton Samuels had three steals. Kelton Johnson had three steals. Like, defensively, this team is just crazy phenomenal. Um, but the Rockets were better. I mean, Westbrook went out there, had, what, 15, 17 points in the first quarter, ended up with 36 on the night, six of eight from beyond the arc, uh, seven rebounds, nine assists, two steals. Dude was playing out of his mind despite the seven turnovers. But, hey, you playing the Spurs, man. You won't turn the ball over. It's just what it is. Uh, James Harden had 14 assists, 28 points, a monster double-double there. Elijah Wan went 20-plus points as well and ended up having five blocks. Moses Malone with four. All right. It, you know, it, and then from there, I mean, yeah, your bench didn't do you no favors, but – they didn't really have to. They weren't out there that long. Uh, <laughs> so their, their main guys showed up, and they bought out. All right, so we're going to Sammy. I think the Spurs are going to catch. The Spurs have not made it past the second round this whole time, this whole this whole thing I've been doing. Uh, I think that they're going to, you know, this is their thing. Like, this is how they complete the story. They're going to make it 
to the finals for sure. I think the Boston Celtics going in after the series tied up one one, reclaiming home field advantage, uh, you know, home, home court advantage on the road. I think that puts them back in the driver's seat of the series. I think the Celtics win. Let's see if I'm if I'm right. So if I'm two for two, uh, this this stream here. Let's see. Oh the oh oh that makes me that makes me four for four, baby. That's a Wendy's right there. The Wendy's four for four. And now what we got here? The Western Conference Finals MVP Tony Parker with seventeen points a game. Okay. Not bad. Uh averaging fifteen assists. I mean, dude. Had a fifty one percent from three. Dude was killing it. Dude was robbing it, man. Uh let's see here. Text messages coming ahead. Important logistical issues there. Eastern Conference Final. Of course it's Larry, right? The Celtics won. It had to be Larry. Uh, dude, 21 points a game. Almost seven rebounds. 11 assists. I mean, dude's averaging a double-double. Uh, 46, 47% from three. Also, I'd like to note, three and a half steals a game. I mean, that's monstrous right there. So now we get to see two teams that both have an opportunity to complete the story, right? We got the all-time Spurs, best defense in the league every single season by far, okay? Always end up having, being the, the number one or two seed in the West, and they never make it past the second round. You know, this is their chance, right, to to finally make it past second round, finally get to the finals like they think that they have deserved to be, and finally win an NBA championship. Meanwhile, you got the Celtics, who have always uh, been a, a top three seed in the East, who, you know, law made it to the finals that first season, expected, you know, like everyone expected them to do it, right? Um lose to the Lakers, you know, make it to the, the conference finals, uh, you know, a couple seasons, but, but couldn't do anything, couldn't get past it since. And with the decline, it felt like, uh, you know, with, with Bill Russell aging out of the starting lineup, it felt like, oh, their opportunity is gone. There's a chance. They missed it. They'll never win. And now they're here. So two teams that just both have incredible stories, incredible journeys. Unfortunately, only one will be able to win our final uh, our final season here. Um, we're going to watch a couple games from this series. Uh, and, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so first of all, who gets home court advantage? Spurs, because they were the number one seed and Boston was the number three seed. So Spurs would have to get it, right? Yeah, Spurs have to. Let me let me stop playing. Yeah, Spurs get it. Okay. When I look at this lineup, man, oof, it's a tough. It's a it's a it's a, it's a team that's got a really talented offense. A team that's got a really talented defense. I don't know. Welcome One thing I will say. Thanks for joining us. 
It's the NBA. The Celtics need Larry Bird to be efficient. And the Spurs might not be able to stop Larry Bird, but they can definitely the keep him from being efficient. Taking on the San Antonio Spurs. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting line. I think the Celtics were praying to face the Rockets. Because I mean, they're, they're a team that not a great offense, good offense. Need somebody to play a great defense as well. Parker does not take many threes. When he does, you just have a feeling it's going in. Ooh, ooh. Against Duncan. Pass to Cozy. Lock it six. Ooh. Ooh. They get a oh. hand on it to the ooh. inside. What happened? Oh, wow. Yeah, that is kind of ticky tech. We play just over a minute here on the first. Here's Cozy. I hate to see the car. We're on the clock. David Robinson. Oh. Two points didn't get to go so far, man. This is playing out exactly how the Spurs wanted to. They are playing lockdown defense here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Tim Duncan lay close out. He would have contested just enough. The father of Larry Bird shot. Already, Larry Bird is cold. I'm telling you, they need Larry Bird to score 30 points a night, or at least start off right, start off a fish. So that he has the double team threat down the line of the game. He's gonna just you know going to helps open up things for other people. He's starting off cold. Ooh. I mean, he was open there. He, 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 there's no doubt. He wasn't wide open, but he was open. You know, next time down. Uh, he's playing an alligator on the screen. Now, look at him picking up a foul. On the Celtics, I take Bird out here. I really do. And you're down 10. I know he's your star, but I'm going to tell him he's not. He's not it, man. He's cold. He's not having a good night. Let's take him out. Let's give him some minutes with the bench squad. Right? Let's see if he can prosper going up against Spurs bench for a couple minutes, and then we'll get him back out there, you know? Oh, one thing we forgot to do, actually, eat. So we got to we gotta quit. Oh, man, this kind of going to eat. This kind of this going to actually. Oh, I hope it doesn't, but it will. I hope it doesn't, but it will, you know. Um, we forgot to. We forgot to do this, man. This is what we do every time. Yeah. We gotta lower the minutes. Even more. That's right. The bench players won't even play a full quarter, and the starters are getting bouty. Bowdy, okay. They getting bowdy. Spurs right ahead. E e I see David Robinson is no longer tired though. Probably because they handled their business against the Rockets. We're able to win in six. Didn't have to play that whole extra grueling game. You know? All right, well, we back at it again. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, <laughs> we do what we do about it. Oh, wait. We back at it again. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. On the I kind of hope they get back to that 11-0 start, man. Otherwise, I'm going to feel, I'm gonna feel like me, me restarting that kind of change off the course of the history. 
Shot clock at six. Offensive rebound. Robinson. Oh, look at that. A great block. Now it's there. Parker defending. Oh, Ooh, a great right. block from Tony Parker. Yeah, I mean, it does shake things up because it's like, Labor was cold. He was having a rough. It's like, what are the odds that they just here's Parker to him twice in the same. Oh, I love Tony Parker getting right behind him there. Fighting through it. I like that little, ooh, ooh, the little shimmy shot that he got. You know what I'm saying? Here's Cowens. Robinson defending. It was nice, man. Now Max Lewis. Here's Lewis. What are you going to do with it? What Max Lewis going to do with it? He, he, oh. Let's the free fly. Yikes. Oh, it goes to Samuels. It doesn't go for him. Boston he was a the very good three-point shooter in college. Came in, adopted this defensive mentality the Spurs have. First quarter, shot himself right up to the starting three. lineup. Tatum oh, that's Tatum. Sends it home from three-point land. So a focal point for Tatum early on. Increased the consistency from deep, and he's done that with a lot of lab work. Here's Duncan. Here's Parker. <laughs> Foul call on the way out. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Wow. Good man. Bob the defender Ducey. really went after him. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give him a chance for the and one. And he can't get the first one. <laughs> Why he look so pouty, though? Tim Parker missing that free throw. He hits the side of 3 3 here. It's far cry from that 11 0 start. Two minutes into the first quarter here. We can't think. Pass to Cowens. Down low. The rebound. Oh, I would say that was never going to go with Timmy D. <laughs> you ain't never going to get that on the Timmy D. Oh, Tony Parker. I'm saying, I thought he was going to pop up right in his mouth. Oh, Tony Parker. Just play their brand of basketball. Yeah, he put that effort out there, man. He playing hustle ball. And you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. We yeah, it is. Again, that block was all out effort. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an Ooh. impact. Ooh. Parker defending. How you gonna tell us? How you gonna tell? Pass to Lewis. Oh, wow, he he's did. He's known for shooting. And Clint DeSamuels knows that. Clint DeSamuels jumps out of the building. Max Lewis, easy pass to the basket. They got a foul. Sent him to the line to earn it. Sent him to the line. They do right here. Ah. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Making it look wow, effortless. Wow, Send wow, this wow, guy wow. to the strike. You're going to cash in more than that. Pass to Leonard. Cowens grabs the board. Oh. Okay, so with the lead. Oh. Tatum from long range. Nails it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got his second bucket on the night. Tatum aggressively looking for his shot now. Preparing before the pass away. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Pass to Lewis. The three ball. The rebound by the Spurs. Mm -hmm. Parker outside. From downtown. That's a business as usual. Oh. Parker's got six. The eight three for Tony Parker. Keep feeding the hot hand. To the inside. And finished off by Tato. Tell you what, this is, you know, this is what you want from your point guard. Kuzi just knows when his guys are wide open. I mean, like, what was that turn around? Back to Parker. Now, ooh, ooh. To the middle. It's oh, wow, what a steal by Dave Collins. Here's Collins. Robinson defending. Tony Parker. Got a foul now. Pass to 
Cowens. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, that's some pesky defense. Should have thought twice before attempting that pass. Look at that. Hmm. The Spurs breaking up the alley. And then just driving it down the, down the court. Fast break buckets. Here's Cowens. And we don't care if you run that off screen pick with Cowens like that. He ain't going to shoot. Here's Lewis. Knocked away. Uh oh, Clifton Samuels. With the sticky fingers. Pass to Leonard. Look at look at this, this Spurs team. They're not in no rush. But they take their time. And Kawhi realizes that Jason Tatum was taking a trip to Ibiza. So he just leaves him there. Time and time again, he delivers. Oh, Larry. Why didn't you let it rip? I mean, Timmy D still did. Oh, a block! A clean one, too. They still got the ball. Shot block violation. The Spurs need, bro. Spend. The Spurs need. Spend. Up top, Parker. No, not that. Yep. Yeah. Dave Collins. He was predicting it. He was baiting Here's all the way. Robinson defending. And he's Look at him. Got to get two. fouled. The Dave Robinson said, okay, I'm going to make sure it's not damn one. Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. Oh, yeah. You know, another thing is Tony Parker been on Fritz. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. Look at you know. I'm not going to ball a lot watching that. Here's Ginobili. Huh. Okay. Out left to the uh, wing. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Right on Barry's head. Hey, wait. Thank cutting. you. Come again. He's too good and just straws off the contact. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Spray. Oh, Ginobili oh. with a clean pick. In transition, Tim Duncan. Too fat, Larry Bird. Way too fat. Into the floor that's got them out ahead. Running the Boston trailer. He running the court on Bird, bro. That's the bird. He running it on. Look at him. Look at him. He playing, he playing defense on Larry Bird like crazy. Bad. Oh, look at him. Another clean block. Another clean block. Oh, my. Oh, my. They only got six seconds on the shot clock, too, so we're going to inbound this. He's pretty much at the logo. They're going to have to have Bird check one up to avoid another shot clock violation. They don't even put a body on the boards. And now, you know me, finally I'm going to have to rush a shot in six seconds. I'm going to put bodies on the boards. Oh, Tim. Tim. Tim really didn't have so to do Boston that. Now. He didn't have to do it, Tim. Game. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah. Oh, Tim. It's him. So it's both teams making substitutions here. They sub and Larry Bird out. Oh, wow. Did Timmy, did Timmy just deflect that in the bottom of Ginobili's hands? No good that time. Austin going the other way now. I missed Pass it. I was light. yawning. That's tipped. Oh wow, Ginobili almost got another clean steal. To the inside. Oh, oh good pick and roll there. So who else on the dance. floor, man? We got Samuel still out there. So is Kawhi and Sam Duncan. We got Ginobili and Huck Purdy out there for the Spurs. And for the Celtics, JoJo White, Paul Pierce, and John Havlicek are coming in. We still got Cowboys. That's the shot they won. It just didn't fall. No, that's just like not what you want to run. That's the stand. Why they're doing it. If you're going to sub people out, you're going to get a little rest in there. That's for sure. Here's Ginobili. Ginobili. Ooh. And that's what they want to do. Get 
that fading three. Yeah, it's looking so cool and tied out here. They got to get themselves kind of Oh, the Spurs play a, a ruling physical style. They like to wear you down. And they come back on you at the end. So if you let them pop off in the beginning, you're, you're really in trouble, man. You got to figure out a way around this Spurs D. Here's Havlicek. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that Oh, JoJo. Boston, no good. It looked like it was good, but it's no good. Even though he kind of went by him, he still was able to defend that. That's crazy. JoJo thought he sent him flying. A little, a little bit of a pump fast. Oh, look at this. Mouse in the house alert. Draws the double. Clifton Samuels, like I said, excellent three point shooter in college. Yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, they're doing everything. You're gonna right. give them wide open. Looks like that off the double teams. He gonna take them. He gonna make. I wonder if we see any subs after this. So it's John Avalchuk. To the line. Spurs making a switch here. Yeah, we see uh, Clifton Samuels come out the game. Now it's gonna be George Gerben. Tim Duncan's still going to stay in there. He's in takeover. For the Celtics, you're going to see Bill Russell out there. But Jason Tatum's still out there. And so he's able to get one of two. Tim Duncan to take over. He ain't not going to get up the board like that. Not going to give up the board, Tim Duncan. Oh. Edward. Well, they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now here's Russell. Bill. Looking Bill. for his Bill. first Bill. basket Bill. still in this one. Here's White. Clock at six. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Man, what a pass that was there. He really, yeah. really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Pass to Johnson. <laughs> here's Ginobili. Three is up. Mm. Russell with the rebound. To the paint. Here's Duncan. Give him eight points now. And there's 138 left in the first quarter of the game. Ginobili mm. gets the bucket. Seven points in the game. Oh, the a big advantage early. I, I but off here. Both sides of the floor. Form. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage of both ends. They've got all the moves. Oh, that was so smooth. So silky smooth. John Havlicek was, he was dipping and dodging, man. He was shaking and baking. Drew the double. They set the screen. The inside. Had JoJo take it. Oh, that was a sick pass, though, by Kelly Johnson. Oh, my goodness. Terrific execution. Now, so Jojo White looking to emulate. Jason Tatum taking that. I said, that was late. That's him dunking. He's going to run the court. Jojo White not going to stop him. In fact, he's going to pick up the end one. He's on his way to the line for one more. They've controlled the pace so far. That's been the difference. And you're going to see him come in. Come in. Early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Celtic, so. 43 seconds left in the Jason first Tatum's quarter. out. Tim Duncan's still out there. Here's Pierce. The Spurs. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this Why one. Why not? You know. Nice move. And it's oh, good oh, on the lay-in. Paul Pierce. That time work. by Pierce working himself around the contact to get a shot off. As it stands, Celtics Here's up 11. Oh, that's a rebound. Oh, so that was a oh, oh, bad shot. Mid -range. <laughs> You've if he got that drop, got to be a stone cold killer. Here's yeah. Havlicek. Celtics is gonna play smart. Try to take this lead to single digits before the quarter, and, it's good. and they do. Down to a nine-point game. At home, their defense has been crazy. Tim Duncan's been on fire. They got that style that wears you down as the game goes along. I'm going to try to make it five for five. I'm going to say Spurs going to cap it off, man. They're going to finish it.
And they do, and they do 11 point margin of victory, which pretty much just due to that first quarter. I mean, nine points there. You can come back a little bit down to a six point game. Get, it gets all erased there. And then in the fourth quarter, yeah, they warm down. Look at them. Held them to abysmal shooting percentages. Only 17 points in that fourth quarter. Didn't let them get to the line, not once. You know, so they played hard defense and they played it clean. And it worked out for them. Um, you know, over the, overall, the Celtics shot ex, you know, shot percentages weren't bad, but the Spurs were able to, you know, play clean defense the whole game. I mean, they only had nine attempted free throws. Uh, when you couple that with the fact that the Spurs just covered the glass, forced turnovers, you know, generated extra possessions for themselves. You know, you really didn't have to hold the Celtics uh, as far as an efficiency level where you just had to not give up the extra possessions, not give them extra points by sending them to the line. That's what they did, man. Let's see, here you got Jason Tatum with 29 on him. Larry Bird, almost a triple-double flirting with it, really. 22 points, 8 rebounds, 14 assists, 2 steals to throw that in there as well. Uh, only went 2 of 6 from Yanni Ark, though, so that could have played a part. Um, I mean, Dave Collins only missed two shots in the night. Had a monster double double. Had three steals, three blocks. Well, other than that, really. Oh, well, then Bill Russell only missed one shot in the night too. You know, very efficient. Other than that, really not much to talk about from anybody on the Celtics. And for the Spurs, I mean, you got three guys in twenty plus digit territory. You got Tim Duncan with thirty two points, ten assists from the power forward spot. Plus, he had three steals and five blocks. On 15 and 23. Then you had Tony Parker on three or four from beyond the arc with a double double. And he had six rebounds as a point guard. And he had three steals. And that was with him coming out the game a little early, uh, getting into foul trouble in that first quarter. Then you had David Robinson with a double double and four blocks. Um, and then look at just the, the people that you see here with, you know, Clifton Samuels almost with a double double, right? Had three steals as well. Look at the people you see with multiple steals in there. I mean, they, yo, Tim Duncan was balling out, bro. And it was enough for them to get the dub here tonight. We'll have to see what that uh, home court advantage uh, does for him if it holds up. All right, now we get to sim a game. Okay, so the Spurs up 2-0 in this series. Now we get to play. We get to play here. Celtics get the home court advantage. So it's, I mean, no pressure, right? But you got to know. No one's ever come back from the deficit to win this season. This is a, a must-win game. Ooh. For the Celtics here and again, Tim Duncan with a clean block three-pointer on Larry Bird. Unable to make him pay for it that time. Tim Duncan really getting out there on Larry. And oh, oh, a tough foul. Cowens draws it. Can he pick up the end one? Can he convert it? It's good. Samuel's the best to run it. Parker, right side. That's cool. Uh, Pussy with the play close out, but Tim Parker taking it to the post. Okay. Get a little guard up action on. Look at these playoffs. 45% from the field. Yeah, averaging 14 assists a game. He's been a monster. From deep three point range. I mean, hand in his spot. And when you are as good a shooter as 
puts that shot up, does not get it to go. Mm. Meanwhile, Sam Duncan running the court on the other end. Take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Lost it. No good that time either. Spurs gave up that one play, but other than that, they've been pretty stingy on defense. Oh, David Robinson, nice offensive rebound. Great good back. They've been winning the battle of the boards here in this series. Here the Celtics turn things around. You got to avoid senseless turnovers. You got to get rebounds. I think everything else falls in place. Avoid turnovers. Get, get the board. Here's Parker. Got to make the most of his possessions. Oh. Oh. And there's the pass to Parker. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Mm -hmm. Boy, it nice. Like Post shot there. I hear a little ooh, heat fake. Oh, and bam. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his know. footwork and body of oh, that boost. Wow. Now here's Tatum. Nice set the pick. That's a great pick, great roll, and great awareness from Jason Tatum. Beautifully drawn up play there. Oh, look at Tim Duncan setting the pick in the paint, and it being effective, and then getting the offensive rebound and putting it back up over three people. And Lewis has it in the corner. Go look at that tip pass from Tim Duncan. Now Tony Parker gonna take it all the way from Larry Bird. It looked like Tony Parker too was was putting some separation in between him and, and Bird. Larry Bird just fast enough. Just long enough to deflect. Him. Duncan dishes to Leonard. Over Tatum. Ooh. Here's Robinson. Walks again. Not a lot of offensive rebounds, but Here's absolutely Cousy. hold David Robinson there. And after, I mean, a, a turnover from them, right? Oh, another clean block. Setting the tone with that projection. Wow. The defensive anchor of this team. I was literally just going to compliment the Celtics, say, you know, hey, after the turnover, they didn't give up any points there. Really, uh, that that's kind of gets me focusing Here's back Cousy. on the pressure that the Spurs are putting on the Celtics, forcing a turnover, getting an offensive rebound. The Celtics have to play perfectly there to not get scorched for, for just one possession. It's like, you can't maintain perfection in a game, right? I mean... Tim Duncan getting a clean block from Larry Bird. He was daily blocking threes. It's wild. Now you got Tim Duncan on Bob Poose. He could be a little bit of a speed mismatch. But, but it doesn't matter. Kawhi Leonard with a clean pick. And he's going to take it all the way. Ooh, a nice little handoff to Tony Parker. He's just going to get bullied down though, by this, yeah, the entire Celtics squad. For sure. Outside Tatum. Spurs defense is best when they're when they're set. Score the basket. When they're not set, right? You got Tim Duncan guarding you know, shooting guard. You know. You're the Celtics. That's what you want. You push the pace. You zip the ball around. And four switches. Been off the mark. Passes it to Cousy. Back to Bird. Yeah, you want to secure rebounds. You want to avoid turnovers. So far, they haven't really been doing much of either. Giving up a lot of offensive rebounds to the Spurs. Turn the ball over a lot already. 
And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. He has a number of moves to choose from. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. soft, delicate touch near the rim. Now Whoop. here's Tatum. Bird with the bucket. And a nice job here early of establishing mm -hmm. an inside presence. And the Spurs with possession. Okay. Nobody near Parker. Yeah. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. He's got eight. I am with Parker first on the white Solid as a rock. didn't have that jumper. He's put a ton of time into making it a dangerous weapon in his offensive arsenal. Now, here's Bird. Hmm. Oh, another turnover. Here is Samuels. By the Celtics and finds Kawhi in the corner. It's Tatum was on his way to close out, but I mean that was a, an open look, you know. Oh, another block from Tim Duncan. Look at the rotation defense. Tim Duncan simultaneously guarding two people. Oh, almost had another block. Was able to affect the shot. Larry Bird, a miserable one for six. Now fouling Tim Duncan there. Maybe take Bird out of the game after that. Yeah, Kevin McHale's coming in. Paul Pierce as well as Max Lewis and JoJo White. The only starter out on the court, Dave Towns, Celtics. really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like this is becoming contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Give a big round of applause for Celtic Entertainment. Meanwhile, for the Spurs, Tim Duncan out there. He's in takeover. With the Samuel out there. He got Ginoli. Helen Johns coming in. David Robinson still out there as well. Lewis from deep three point range. Eight. Rebound by Johnson. Unable to get that to know. By six. Well, Max Lewis is a starter, yeah, so I guess, I guess he's still out there, obviously. Johnson. <laughs> the Celtics. White against Ginobili. Shoots over White. Ginobili can hit. And so it's McHale with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Hey, Robson riding the hit. Kevin McHale in the whole way. Up and White. down the floor there. Oh, oh Pierce, nobody closing out, wide open. That's gonna be a bucket. Look at him. Absolutely. 17 and a half points a game. Hasn't really taken over games this season. Spurs haven't needed to, but here in the playoffs, he has taken White over games. And the Spurs need him most. He balls. Oh, look at that block. Ginobili, let me tell you something. That, the effort in the, when Tim Duncan takes over a, a ball game, he gets everybody popping, man. He gets everybody focused. Everybody's in him. Their defense has been so aggressive right out of the gate, wasting no time shutting shooters down here with authority. Mm, another another turn. thing they're doing right out of the gates tonight, applying a ton of defense. And bam. Oh. Those are chances. I would say coast to coast. Always Tim Duncan to get you two points. in the court. I can tell. To keep him out of rhythm. Kevin McHale. Now here's White. Still Just getting enough. warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Probably should have taken that. That was probably the best look he was going to get. Now he got that one. San Antonio leading by eight. Dylan Johnson back to Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan saying, I will not be denied again. Already has 12 points in the night. Now we're seeing a full swap here. So the whole bench is in for the Spurs squad, except for Tim Duncan. The whole bench is in. For Celtic squad, John Havlicek walking bucket wide open. He's going to score. There's no doubt about it. He just gives you great effort and he continues to give you great production. Ooh! Do you know start two for three from the field. Yeah, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. 
Well, you set the tempo early, and when you get in wow. control of the game, it's perfect. Shot half the chip. Maybe that'll trigger them. Ball and out. Not to get pumped up after that. Now, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Here's for three. Ooh. No good. Great defense. Great defense. Taking it the other way. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's. Spurs have a slight edge on rebounds. I want you for your Celtics. You got to get rebounds and got to avoid turnovers. Oh my! Another one, Tim Duncan. Absolutely executed. Spurs right here. Now here's Pierce. Now side. I like how I have a check kind of dipped in on that one. Right right Good garbage. And his passing is good. Couldn't quite get it as tight. They got a two for one opportunity if they rush this on the Spurs or the uh, rush that team. But here's Griffin. He's still scoreless so far. This one's a score here, a clean basket. Then mm. play defense in the quarter here. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Here's Havlicek. Sinks the three-pointer. Havlicek's got ten points. Oh, they narrow that lead down a little bit. Now it's just an eight. Oh, sorry, a seven-point lead for the Celtics. A for the Spurs, um, even though they're on the road, again, their style, they just wear you down as the game goes. I'm going to have to say that the Spurs still pull it out. And they still get the duh. Well, but this is a must win for the Celtics. Like, if they don't win here, there's really no point. Computer might take that into consideration. Mm, but Larry Bird was like one of seven to start. I need him to be efficient in the beginning. I'm going to go Spurs. I'm going to try to make it a seven for seven. Mm, by 10. By 10. And you know what that means. Uh, let's see what the box score was here. I mean, yo, Larry ended up dropping 36 on him and had five steals and eight assists and went eight of 13 from beyond the yard. Like, not he bounced back big. Jason Tatum at 23 with nine assists. Bob Cousy had a triple double. Dave Collins had eight blocks. He almost had a triple double with eight blocks and he had three steals. And somehow the Spurs win this. Tim, Dun oh wow! So Bob Cousy, right? So so Larry Bird popped off thirty six. Okay, Tim Duncan popped off thirty five with fourteen rebounds, had four blocks, two steals, and then Tony Parker popped off thirty four with eight rebounds, eight assists, flirting with triple double territory, had multiple steals as well. David Robinson had a double double, even got out beyond the arc one time, and he had three blocks. Kawhi with multiple steals, multiple blocks, double double, almost triple double territory, despite being horrible from the field, didn't matter because everyone else was golden, right? Uh, Ginobili went fifty percent from three. Larry Kennedy didn't miss a shot. George Gervin only missed one. Dylan Johnson made the only shot he took. Freaking Clifton Samuels had twelve rebounds and multiple seals like even when people couldn't find a way to contribute they still contributed so i mean oof, that's a well earned win for the spurs there it being 3-0 we know they won let's go ahead and sim the series and they swept them they they so they were so dominant this year okay and by the way if you're if you're a grizzlies fan and you've been young, and you've been on the rise these past few seasons, and you come up to the Spurs, and you took them to seven games, right? You took the Spurs to seven games. You got to feel real, real good. 
about what you did uh, in the postseason, but Spurs win it all this year. MVP, of course, Tony Parker. 29 points per game, 14 assists, two steals, shooting 43% from beyond the arc, almost 50% overall, right? I mean, just phenomenal. Phenomenal. And then for him to still get seven and a half rebounds a game. Phenomenal. 